The Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, CIBN, has reinforced the need for players in the financial services to back up government intervention on infrastructural financing. The president of CIBN, Dr. Ken Opara, says government should create an enabling environment that will promote public-private partnerships, PPP, on infrastructural development as government cannot do it alone. Dr. Opara, who made the call on Saturday in Lagos while speaking at the conferment of fellowship on eminent Nigerians who have contributed to the growth and development of the economy, explained that the government should promulgate policies that will ensure return on investments. Speaking on the theme, bridging the infrastructure deficit, the role of financial institutions, a senior partner, Africa 50 Infrastructure Acceleration Fund, or Puyo or Forio Koma, admonished the players in the financial services to rally round and give necessary financial support to the development of infrastructure. On the spot, a former governor of Ubu State, Otumba Benga Daniel, challenged everyone to patronize Made in Nigeria as the only way to grow the economy. Among the eminent Nigerians conferred with fellowship awards include the Director General, Security and Exchange Commission, Lamido Yuguda, the Executive Director of Operations of the Nigerian Deposit Insurance Corporation, NDIC, Mustafa Ibrahim, and Chairman Bank Directors Association of Nigeria, Mustafa Chike Obi. Government cannot fund infrastructure alone, so it requires private sector to support. And the best way to do it is that government provides the right framework in terms of regulatory structure and uh, model that can guide private sector to participate and support infrastructure building in Nigeria. There's so much that needs to be done. Of course, Central Bank of Nigeria have also set up the InfraCorp, all in the bid to support and boost infrastructure in Nigeria. So we think collaboration with the private sector, appropriate framework, regulatory framework, will be the best way to drive progress. And when you look at the cost of having to finance uh, also climate adaptation and change, um, it, it runs into a lot of money. So it's not impossible to deal with it, but we have to recognize what it is, especially the impact of climate change, thinking more about renewable energy, thinking more about uh, climate resilient infrastructure. Um, but importantly, we have to create the environment where investors can actually come and play, whether they are equity investors or those providing loans, create a safe, friendly environment, uh, provide risk mitigation for them. And, you know, people will be, will be very happy to come and take risk here if that environment is enabling and it's helpful. The bankers are doing their job. Uh, their responsibility is very clear to grant credit uh, to the economy. And I'm sure that they will be prepared at any time to do what needs to be done. But I think first and foremost, we need to reorientate ourselves, as I've said earlier on, when the production starts, bankers are happy to give money to the productive sector. But for now, what they are funding is just importation. And that will not get us anywhere. <laughs>